Hey y'all, it's Kia from Through History. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here on my channel, we're all about prayer, faith, and encouragement. So if you're interested, please stick around. Make sure you're liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing the video with friends, of course, so that the word can go out. So today's video is actually more of a prophetic word, honestly. Um, so um, the word, we're just gonna jump right in and I'm gonna say real quick that it came from Hebrews 3 and 4, so Hebrews chapter 3 and 4. So I'm actually not gonna read it in its entirety. Um, I may read a couple of scriptures, but not the whole thing. And so I pray that you all will read it, please. Even, matter of fact, stop the video. Read Hebrews chapter 3 and 4. They're both actually pretty short, and then come back. Okay. So, um, we're gonna jump into prayer before we actually move on. So, all right. So, Father God, thank you so much for giving me this word and even trusting me to um, put it out to your children, Lord God. Father God, I pray that you will call every child that you need to hear this message. I pray that this message will go out um, into the world and do the work that you require of it, Lord God. So I pray that I will decrease and you will increase. Have your way, right in this place, Lord God. It's yours, Lord God. Give me the confidence and the boldness to speak the word you have in me and give me the ears to hear you, the open heart to receive the revelation, to receive clarity, Lord God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will move in this moment and move for the other person on the other side of the camera, Lord God, and touch them where they're at. In Jesus' name, amen. So, y'all, basically, not even basically. So, um, Hebrews chapter three, verses seven through 19 is a warning against unbelief. And my Bible is actually labeled warning against unbelief. And then chapter four is titled a sabbath rest for the people of god so we'll we'll start with the warning we'll start with the warning okay so if you know the story of the israelites so i'll just give you like a little bit little drops here um the israelites was god chosen god's chosen people that moses um helped deliver out of egypt right and one thing about the Israelite is that entire, there was an entire generation of them that was actually, that actually perished because of their unbelief. They didn't get to enter into the land of, their promised land of Canaan. They didn't get to see it um, because of unbelief. But it was two people who actually did not perish from that generation, but the rest of the generation did not. God actually showed them God set them free from Egypt. God sent plagues. God provided food for them, kept them safe for years. And yet they continue to turn their heart against God or to harden their heart, to allow themselves to see the hand of God and say, mm, Lord, that's not enough. I need more signs. Lord God, show me some more signs if you're real. Or uh, just hardening their hearts towards God, continuing to live in sin, being content in sin. And that ultimately is what led them to not enter into their promised rest, their promised rest. And the warning from God, that was hard for me to record at first to even say, <laughs> the warning from God is that those who do not believe those who are fighting with unbelief will not enter into God's rest. Um, I think oftentimes we love the goodness of God because God is good. God is holy, holy, holy. But we have to remember that not believing in God is a sin and that we will not enter into rest if we do not believe in God. We cannot enter into that peace, that joy, that freedom, that deliverance. We can't enter into those things apart from God. God has rest for those who believe, for his children, for his people, for believers in Christ Jesus, that Christ Jesus died on the cross for our sins and that he rose, that he fulfilled the law, 
Jesus did that for you, but the people who believe that and receive it in faith, those are the people, those people will receive rest in Christ. The warning is for those who see the goodness of God, who choose to harden their hearts, be mindful not to let sin harden your heart. Be mindful to see the goodness of God, see how he moves, see how he works, and believe in it. Believe in it for your salvation. It's by faith that we are saved. It's not by works. It's by faith. We're not doing self-righteous work anymore because Jesus has done the job that needed to be done. He fulfilled the works. The, jo the works is over, y'all. Jesus did the job, right? So, um, and it's hard for me to say it because it's kind of like I'm coming on YouTube to t tell a group of people um, that apart from God, you will not see his rest and ultimately you will see destruction and the gnashing and gnawing of teeth. Like hell is a real place, y'all. And that's not where God wants any of you. That's not where God wants any. He doesn't want people there, but you have to, God's not gonna force himself on you. You have to make the decision to come to God, to believe in God, to believe that he, he is for you, he is with you, and he will save you, he will deliver you, he will set you free from all things, but that comes by faith. That comes by believing in God. Some things about God is not gonna make natural sense because the reality of it is a lot of things is spiritual. Spiritual is more real than the natural, right? And we have to we have to receive the gospel of Christ Jesus by faith. That's how we enter into rest. So the warning, y'all, is for those apart from God who do not believe in God, you will not, you will not enter into God's rest. But thank God he sent his son to die on the cross for our sins, because unbelief is a sin. And thank God that he wants you to come home to him. So I am here to say that God wants you to come home to him. God wants you fully. He wants you more than you'll ever know. God wants you to return to your first love, which is God. He wants you to come home to him. Um, because there is rest for those who are in Christ. People who are in Christ will get to see the beauty of things. For those who are struggling with sin, just sin is your life because you are apart from God. God can give you healing from that. He can give you freedom. He can give you rest. He can give you deliverance. He can give you blessing. But when you're not in Christ, it's kind of like you tie, not that God is to be limited. It's kind of like you tie his hands. God does a lot for those in him because ultimately we work for God. <laughs> we doing a work for God's kingdom to continue to spread across the world. We want, we want everybody to know who God is because God wants you to know who he is. So all in all, this is a video to tell you that God wants you. He wants you to believe, but you have to believe. He's real. You can count back probably a hundred situations where you saw the hand of God in your life, but you have to see it and receive it in faith. You have to receive that in faith and believe in God. I, I don't really have much to say other than this, but it was just a word for you to know that if you do not believe in God, you won't find rest. You will not have rest because you are apart from God. So I pray that you come to Christ. I pray that you will find God so that you may have rest, so that you can enter into the things with your name on it. Rest has your name on it. For whoever whose heart is weary, you're going through a struggle, something is just Something is just making life difficult. God wants you to know that there's rest in him. He can make those crooked places straight. 
He can make those bruises heal, those scrapes and pains. He can make it go away. When you come to Christ, God can make that stuff go away. Don't fall for the lies of the world. Don't fall for the enemy's gimmicks and tricks and whatever hoopla. To think that the peace in this world is real. God is a peace that surpasses all understanding. The real peace, the real joy, the real happiness, and the real freedom lies in Christ. There is no freedom apart from God. So when you see people in the world living and they just live in their best life, like some of us who that's our testimonies, we were living our best life before we came to Christ. But we didn't know the truth. We were in unbelief too. <laughs> Don't look at the world for peace. It's false. It's fake. It's not real. It's a lie. It's a sin. It's not real. They're all living in a lie. Because the real peace is in God. The real, the truest peace is in God. So, urgent message. Because even in Hebrews 3 and 4, the Holy Spirit says today, today. He is inviting you home to him today. So I'm praying and I'm hoping, my brothers and sisters, that you are coming home to God today. So I feel it in my spirit to lead you into a salvation prayer. All right, y'all. So I had to pull up the scripture to be a, to be sure because I don't want to confuse anybody. I knew it was Romans. But Romans 10, 9 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So if you would like to receive Jesus Christ right now in faith, please repeat this prayer after me. So, Father God, thank you. Thank you for sending your son to die on the cross for me. Lord God, I repent. I turn away from my sins. Lord God, I ask that you come into my life and that you have your way. Father God, I submit to you. Father God, I give my life to you. Father God, I pray that you free me, deliver me, heal me, Lord God. Lord God, I'm ready to enter into your rest. Lord God, have your way. Thank you. Father, I love you. I worship you. Lord God, I love you. Thank you for what Jesus has done on the cross. In Jesus' name, amen. So if you said that prayer, Congratulations, you are saved. You have received Jesus Christ in faith. And I pray that from this video that your life has been touched. I pray that you will walk in the fullness of Christ. I pray that you will continue to seek wise counsel from around you. I pray that someone, that God will send someone into your life to um, have a relationship with. Where y'all can build yourselves up. Where God can help you grow and build in the kingdom of God. Um, but yes, this is all for the video. I love you all. Um, I'm going to only say make sure you subscribe and share the video so that the channel can grow and that the word can get out. It's not for no, no gimmicks and tricks and nothing. It's really just to support the channel so that the word can get out. y'all. So anyways, love you. Until next time.